285 West. Well, we're going to Carlsbad. There's nothing between here and there. So you better have gas in your tank. That's all I'm, that's all I'm gonna say. We're in New Mexico now. And the landscape is still the same. There's lots of oil in New Mexico also. Good grief. I mean, this whole highway, 285, is nothing but a big oil field. I'm talking 95 miles we have gone. And all we've seen is this kind of terrain. Wow. Well, we're in Carlsbad. about that folks your children's going to pay He's checking out the site. Sweet. Look at that view. Fantastic. We're trying to figure this out. Look what it says here. Extra vehicle per campsite, $10 per night. Don't you think that's a much? I don't just see if it's somebody coming to visit with you, camping with you. Uh-huh. But in, in Texas, it was 5 and $6 a vehicle, but I had the Texas Parks Pass, which kicked it down to $2 a night, which is not so bad if, if you're part of the camping group. The National Park guy told me if you're camping the National Forest in Texas, there's a $10 per vehicle fee, but if you're camping, there's no fee. Right. You have an extra vehicle. That's what he told me. So, I mean, I, I could see it if it was somebody who was staying with you. If they were coming here. I, I don't know how they did figure all that. Look at this one right here. Failure to pay a fee. $250 per vehicle. That's 225 I mean, 225 per vehicle. Sorry. I don't know. Woo! Camper check out. They do have sewer here, though. $18 per night. Oh, we're gonna go, we're gonna go find out what's what here. With uh, Passport America and my good Sam's, the private parks are $18 a night full hookup. So, and I like I say, people come here, I guess, to be on the water and whatnot. And I guess they bring their boats and stuff, so they have to pay extra for all that, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so it's been... They have a nice playground right over there. Yes. And the host is over here, and I can't get them to come to the door. So and they have... 
we got to do one for you, and one for the truck, and one for the trailer. So, so it'll be just one night for the truck and trailer. See, that's how they get their full price. Let's see. Let me see. $14 for the site and $10 for my car, $24. That's just like staying in the full hookup site, which would have been cheaper up the road. Yeah. So, anyway. Well, I mean, when you travel with extra vehicles and stuff, I guess that's their way of limiting the, you know, whatever. Anyway, just but, one night, man. We'll be going up to Roswell tomorrow. But, y'all, we're traveling with the extra vehicle because we're going to see our grandchildren, and it's a lot easier to have that car to travel around in uh, California than it is to travel around in the truck in California. Boxes, overnight camping. Y'all, Brantley State Park in New Mexico, close to Carlsbad. It's not a bad park. Don't get us wrong. As you can see, they got these little shelters. And there was our site right there. I'm parked in another slot so he can pull out. We're about to leave. Headed up to Roswell. But... I mean, the views and the sunsets here are fabulous. Each one of these sites has a shelter, a picnic table, water, power, and a grill. You need to watch for rattlesnakes. Okay, we're pulling out, headed to Roswell, New Mexico. We're gonna check that out. Then we're gonna go down to Lincoln Forest. But as you can see, this is Monday morning. There's hardly anybody here. This weekend, the place was packed. I mean packed. And most of the people that were here were locals. So, but I will tell you that there were no rangers and no park hosts the whole four days that we were here. Well, three days that we were here. Um, the restrooms hadn't been cleaned since Friday morning. And I, I don't know if they didn't know that it was going to be packed. The reserve side of the park, it was full. So they had to have known that it was going to be busy. And then on the first come, first serve, that's, it. that's the main thing we love about the New Mexico parks. That half of the sites can be reservable and the other half are first come first serve and like us we come we usually come during a, a weekday so it makes it easy easier for us to get a site it's all gonna look just like this all the way you really don't get you really don't get into uh, the red clay and the you know the mountainous area until you get a little further west so we shall see all right later